Hello, YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of City Skylines, and today we have some major things that we are going to have to accomplish. I've been watching the city for a while now, and we are back to growing. I know last episode we took a bit of a hit while we were doing this little tourism district, but uh, the population is on the rise. We need to get to 90,000 before we get our next unlock, which is going to be this piece of land here, because I really desperately need to get these highways to go around and connect into each other. I'd like to get this land over here and I'd like to get the land uh, by the industrial sector over here. So what we're gonna do here today, now I've noticed something about my little tourism district and right now it doesn't seem to be an issue, but every once in a while, which we're gonna add a little commercial district in here, uh, probably to the right here, but every once in a while I'll get the little icons that say they're not getting the uh, commercial vehicles or I guess it's the industrial vehicles down here to deliver goods. And a part of that is to do with the fact that the industrial sector is over here and they have to go down this highway, take the turbine interchange, come down this highway and get down into here. And as you can see, there's a little bit of a uh, traffic stack up here. So what I thought about doing, and I could basically give them a little detour, which it might unclog this area here. We might, just might, build a bridge so that would be a second bridge. It wouldn't be a highway bridge like this one over here. It would probably connect into this little, uh, I would say connect into this avenue right here. And then they'd be able to hop onto the highway right here and head down. So we might test that, but we're going to pressure them a little bit more. Let's go ahead and put some more commercial in here and see if that starts to uh, be an issue again. So what we're going to do, so we've got our, uh, this is our tourism. These are like hotels. We've got our leisure, which these are like nightclubs over here. Well, we need a little bit of light commercial. That way people have places to shop. So I thought about building it maybe off this right side. Now, uh, please ignore this highway here. We're going to eventually wrap that around, like I said. But we can't do that at the moment. Another good thing with the uh, next unlock is going to be the whole fact that we're going to get access to a bigger airport. So I'm not going to build on to this one yet. And once we get that, we'll put a bigger airport down. So, let's go ahead. We can... Is this a active intersection? No, it's just a stop sign. Thinking how I want to do this. I, I might not even, like, play with this area here. I might just go ahead and build an intersection out here to start our commercial. So, let's do something like this. Uh, we're not going to do as much gridded patterns like I normally do. Uh, it's going to be a little bit more unique, and we're going to have a little issue with the highway there. Pretty sure that highway is going to start curving, so let's go at about an angle like so. And let's fix this road here. So this is our little avenue. We're going to continue to curve this. Because this is actually, I would say this is fairly nice property here. Uh, it's not the most usable property, especially on this side. But I feel like we can have a nice little commercial district over here. So now I've got a little bit better idea as to what my angle is going to be. I could make it curve too, so we can have that straight angle out here, but then we'll start to, uh, say about right here. We could curve it in like that. That actually doesn't look too bad. And we're kind of flowing along with the shore here, which I, I like that. That might not be aggressive enough. Let's see. Yeah, those are going to intersect. Let's do it like this. We'll break off and we'll start. Let's go a little further. Start about like that. So we're going to have a little bit of a gap in between the... Uh, and we're going to delete this real quick. We're going to have a little bit of a gap in between the uh, buildings here, which is not really a big deal. Uh, but let's go... I feel like I can get this closer. I, I really do. I'm going to make this look as nice as possible. But I'm getting out of the patterns of doing nothing but grids. That was, like I said, mainly for my cities or my uh, downtown districts. To try to keep them compact, but here we get to play around a little bit. And I feel like this, something like probably that, that flows nicely. So we're going to do this. I can't continue because the whole fact that we're about to run into the border. So we need to really push to get to that 90,000 here. Okay, we're going to check our water situation. Look good there. We look good here. Let's go ahead and extend it here. Uh, let's go about to here. I know my OCD kills me sometimes with these... Uh, with these pipes, but this district is already kind of messy, so I'm not going to let that get to me. So we need, let's go with low density commercial. We're going to keep them off this uh, avenue here, so we're going to need to run probably electricity across from the backside there. 
So let's start zoning these in. You know, let's just go ahead and zone the whole thing here. Or at least probably from, let's do here and here. Let's go ahead and angle the camera here. And then we'll come in like that. Okay, so we've got that. That's going to be a nice little commercial district. Let's go ahead. What's the easiest way to get power here? I don't like doing that. Let's run from the back side. Hopefully they'll start building from the back first. Uh, but you never know what they're going to do. Oh, actually, you know what? They are. So connect that there. Hopefully they start expanding from this section. So that'll be a nice little commercial district. So you've got shopping, you've got your hotels, and you've got your nightclubs and all that other good stuff. Uh, I haven't actually looked at some of these. There's a lot of these arcades. I actually like the way these look. It's just really odd seeing them. All right, so this little commercial section starting to build up. I let it set overnight. Uh, it looks like we have some weird obsession with In-N-Out burgers. We've got three of those. We've got a little Starbucks here, Pizza Hut. Uh, just your typical stores. There's an auto zone. That's a, is that a fourth In-N-Out? Yes, it is. All right, so that's good. They do need workers, though, and I've got a big surge in industrial demand, too. So we've got this area going. We're probably going to add a little bit more to this neighborhood back here. Uh, these are typically nicer houses uh, down by the coast. So we'll pay attention to this here in a second. Let's go ahead and check our industrial situation out. We've got a bit of crime going on here. What is up with that? Okay, let's check our needs here. Hospitals were good. Fire. Oh, that's, uh, that's a shame there. Do I not have a fire station? Oh, I've got a small one up there by the airport. You know what? It's probably time for a big fire station down here. This is going to need it. Um, where do I want to stick it, though, is the question. We could stick it up here, kind of hide it in the uh, top side here. Let's do that. There we go. So the fire hazard should instantly go down here. That's pretty good. Now, what's our uh, police situation? That's a little strange. Uh, while we're having some sort of problems over here, our uh, crime rate's only at 7%. Uh, do we have a police station yeah we've got one over here I guess we could put a big one let's replace it real quick I've got the money to do it so we're gonna replace that let's move it back I actually am not too keen on its position we might move that around let's do that let's check our budgets too real quick and as you can see I've got basically everything maxed out which is strange huh okay well, let's uh let's go ahead and max that police budget out and let's give the fire budget a little bit more I've got money to play with here and what is going on here? Okay. As you can see, we still have a traffic backup. They're coming out of the harbor here. But they're trying to get into town. Now, I talked about a bridge. A bridge out of the industrial sector. And this could be a purely an experiment. Because they still are coming out of the port or coming out of the harbor here and trying to get on the highway. What if I opened up and... Let's see, our avenue's here, so if we were to connect something off of that, wouldn't be an avenue. We'd give them like a four lane. Uh, something like, I want to go bigger. I guess we don't need a median in there, do we? Let's see, bicycle lanes. You know, we need to use some of these roads, actually. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and do something like a median here. That way it matches the avenue, so we would drag across. Now, question is... If this was just a temporary thing, what happens here? I don't think the ship traffic is affected at all. Yeah, they're just going to cruise right on under. And that looks that looks extremely dangerous. I mean, they are kind of crashing into each other. So let's just see. This is purely an experiment. This might not be permanent, or we could be relocating this bridge. You never know. I might not like the, uh, the style of it. I just want to see what happens here. And as you can see, they're already starting to use it. So maybe this will relieve traffic, and maybe this will get our goods out to our commercial sections a little bit quicker, too. Okay, while they start doing that, I don't have any room. You know, if we're going to add any industrial, it's going to need to be over here, probably. It's going to be our safest bet. And what are we doing? Are we doing a three-lane, one-way? Okay, three-lane, one-way. We can take care of that. Let's go ahead and give them another section here. Let's go out three, come back, 90-degree angles. Let's just overshoot it here. And there we go. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. I believe I've been letting them have... Let's see, that's still... You know, I have been sweeping them out, haven't I? Okay, so we're going to continue our one ways. Some people get annoyed with these, and I don't really understand the annoyance with them. Because they really do help direct traffic, especially in stuff like this place. Because this is a lot of traffic coming in and out. And let's see, can we get this dead center? Oh yeah, perfect. 
Okay, we are gonna give them a little bit more commercial. We need to keep up with the demand for our, uh, I meant to say industrial. We actually need to keep up with our demand for commercial. So let's go ahead. We're gonna zone these in. We'll just use the uh, tool here. There we go. So there's no complaining here. They've got the zones, and as you can see, they're gonna start popping up like crazy. Let's uh, speed up time here. There we go. Okay, so this is gonna rush some more goods out in the city. So that's good. Let's see, what else can we take care of right now? How's our electricity? We're good here. Now, if anybody wonders where our sources of electricity are, they're out here at the uh, farms or solar plants. And, of course, the huge wind farm, which I really need to sort this thing out. So we've got that. Sewage treatment's gonna be next. Looks like we need to add another plant here or facility. Probably continue it along the shore here. So let's go ahead and add one of those. So we're really just future-proofing ourselves here. So we're good there. Water's good. Fire's good. Police is good. Electricity's pretty good right now. All right, so are we still using this? Oh, boy. All right, so they are smart enough to try to get there the quickest. You know, this probably doesn't need to have a light on it at the moment. Let's go ahead and get rid of that and keep them flowing. Now, what they're doing, they're pouring into the city, but you can see to get down to the tourism district, they're using this little uh, on-ramp here to get to the uh, highway. So that's good. And let's check this section over here. And as you can see, this is filled out, and we no longer have those little icons saying they need goods. So we are officially getting goods over. So everything's going really good right now. Our population's starting to go up. We're going to hit 90,000 here shortly. Plus, we're making 10,000 a week right now. So I feel like we can go ahead and play around a little bit more here. Let's go ahead and add another little section to the neighborhood. And, you know, I've been tempted, and I normally don't want to do any sort of cheats, but I've got to see if I've got it enabled because at one point, I think there was a limit to how much you can buy land-wise. And I've got a computer where we don't have to worry about that limit. So I'm really curious as to if we're going to be like close to that. Because there's a lot of land that I actually want. Let's go ahead and delete this real quick. Redo this. I didn't even see if I was doing this correct. So that's going to be three there. So yeah, there's a lot of land that I actually want in the game. And I don't want it to limit me, so we will probably enable that mod. Let's see, we have two. Okay, we have two uh, avenues here. I didn't even notice that. So we're going to send this one back. Because it would be really nice to even own this little section of land right here. Because I can't choose. Like, I want both of these, and I would like to have them actually unlocked instantly. So I'm still thinking about that. Uh, we'll see, because I, it's not like I'm going after achievements or anything, because... Those have already been disabled with the mods that I do have, so it's kind of pointless to do that. So we might actually use that. I'm not 100% sure. Let's see. Three lanes. And how did that turn up to be... How did that turn out to be just two lanes here? We'll have to look at our road situation here, too. Uh, we're going to add... Let's go ahead and add some of these here. I probably should do these neighborhoods a bit different, but for the time being, let's just go ahead and do them like this. I need to uh, kind of restructure some of the roads here. So, this will be the last bit of kind of gridded zones uh, for the neighborhoods. And then we'll kind of move on to a little bit more specialized neighborhoods. I would like to, and I don't have much beach here. I would like to maybe on that side have a nice area right by the coast. The only bad thing is you've got the industrial sector right behind it. But anyways, that looks good. So, we're going to add some population here. We do have a demand for, what is this? Commercial zoning still. Hmm. Where could we satisfy that demand? We might have to actually do that in the city. I guess I could. Could zone some of this. Or, we, you know, we have this big... I call this the dead zone right here because there's nothing on it. We could line up businesses up and down the avenue here. Uh, let's zone that before it gets dark. Uh, not high density. We're going to continue with the low density down here. Because I don't want too many skyscrapers over here. I think that that doesn't actually fit besides maybe the hotels. Plus, I have to check. I have some specialized uh, skyscrapers or unique ones that I can put in that do go along with the tourism theme. So let's let those appear. I'm going to fast forward through night real quick, and we'll see what we look like in the morning. All right, so we have our new upgrade. This is actually really good. So we've got it to where we can unlock a new area, and we have the International Airport. Okay, so I was looking at some unique buildings. It's still not quite day yet, but we can go ahead and pick out our little reward here. So, which piece? 
Do I want to go to the right or I want to go to the left? The left, we could play around with some more tourism. Actually, we can do that up and down the river. But, question is, I want to make these highways all connect into one. Let's go ahead and start that. So we're going to unlock this area here. There we go. Alright, so, now we have an international airport. Question is, how big is that thing? And I'm pretty sure it is massive. You know what? That's actually not too bad, but... Bad thing is, it doesn't look like it's actually going to fit in our original intended spot. So, we might be building a new airport. Or I wonder if, you know, what is the difference between having two airports? Like, could we have the airport, the normal one, here? And maybe have a international one over here? I don't know. That's really tempting. We might hold off on building that for the time being. Uh, what I need to do here, and we can go ahead and do this at night, this is just fine. Uh, we need to send these highways up here. So let's go ahead and send them down, let's keep them pretty even. So those are going to run, and are these already elevated? Oh yes they are, that is great. Okay, that works good. And we just broke a line there. Was that a pointless line, or was that a, was that a good line? Oh, that was, that's a bad line to break, okay. So, obviously, I still wish we could do these underground. That would be so much more convenient. So, we need to go up, over, and that's about even there, and down. So, reconnect those. Okay, so we're going to run this highway. Let's keep it going up like so. And we're going to actually... I could do a pretty clean... I don't know, I could do an interchange over here. I, I really just could merge the highways. Let's see, which direction are we going in? These go out towards downtown, and these go out towards downtown. So technically, this one and the right one need to connect, and this one and the immediate one need to connect. I could send one down and send one up, because I don't think I need an interchange down here quite right now and I don't know if I can find one that will connect these highways at an angle so I might have to actually create my own little system here which is fine I don't have an issue with that it's just a question of how do I want to do it so we could elevate this highway here say out to out to here and then we could put this highway on the ground here Okay, and then we can do same here. This highway would come down to the ground. And basically they would intersect each other. Uh, let's see. Let's go Let's go out like this. And then I know you're going to want to connect at an odd angle here. i got to see what's the, uh, what's the correct way of doing this. This is going to be a little bit tricky for me to figure out here. Okay, so I've run these highways out. I'm not sure I'm 100% satisfied with this. I might change the elevations. But technically, we've connected the highways, which is good. But, can we get them all? They're all kind of running in every which direction right now. So, technically, these highways are going up. So, we need to be going this way. So, we need to go ahead and correct this. I love this little tool here that you can uh, direct where traffic's going. And this one's going to be going down here, so these are set to go out here, and this one needs to go across. So, that should basically fix that. Actually, it's going to make me drag that all the way, is it not? Yep, let's go ahead and connect up to here. There we go. That one's good. Uh, these little emblems here, we're going to delete these. These are kind of like service roads. I just deleted the power line. Are you kidding me? All right. So yeah, I'm not sure I'm really 100% happy with that connection down there, but it is going in the right direction. Uh, eventually we do need this piece of land here, and these are going to go up the coast back into the highway back here. So our little connection started, so that's good. And oh, you know what? It hasn't actually rained here in a long time, so this is actually a little surprising to see. Uh, it's quite nice. Now, what we have, now that we have this land, we can continue this commercial and tourism district. I know it's a little weird being like at the river, but that gives us lanes to go all the way up here and eventually swoop back into the highway, which is good. Now I've still got to figure out my, what is this? That's a, it's a bit of a charred spot. But yeah, I still have to figure out my airport situation. If you guys have any suggestions for that, please comment below because I want to use that bigger airport 
Is that a, what type of air, airport is that before I pronounce it wrong? Yeah, it's International Airport. It's expensive, but it just doesn't fit. It's, that's the problem. I would say, hey, we can use this gap up here, but it's a really sloped area. It would almost go in where the original airport is, but it seems like the highways and everything would have to be moved. Or, I don't know, that whole section would have to come back. I don't know if I'm comfortable with doing that right now. So, I don't know if it's 100% necessary at the moment, but what we're going to do here, let's go ahead. We're going to grab, just to show us where we're going here, make sure it's on a curve. We're going to continue up here. So, you're going to still see this gradual turning. So, that's good there. So, we've got this section here. What we're going to do, let's extend this district here. And then, so Park District's going to now flow down along this road. So, we should be able to get, uh, let's see, it's... Go ahead and take that whole thing over here. We should be able to get hotels up on this street that the, uh, the actual harbor's on. I'm going to leave that alone because that's commercial right there. And are these roads going to hold them? Yes, they will. That is a one-way road. i got to keep that in mind. But let's see what happens here. So that is... Is that under low density or is that high density? Question. Okay, that is low density. What I have that tourism. Those hotels are even popping up like that. I don't know what high density commercial does in a tour, like some sort of tourism district. I'm kind of thinking now uh, that could be an option too. We could try that out. So we're going to allow them to start popping up in here. So this is going to be a fairly big influx in traffic. Let's go ahead and give them all these little areas along this. And what I might do, let's see. Let's go ahead and make sure we got water here. Yeah, we do. Uh, let's connect this here. What I might do, we might need to widen the street out. Uh, the one reason, and I have this as a one-way basically because I'm afraid of anything. Let's go ahead and pop this. I'm afraid of traffic and the patterns they're going to start taking because that harbor produces a whole lot of traffic. So we'll see what they do here. We're going to give them this section on both sides and we'll see what buildings start to pop up. All right, so you can see uh, that we're actually growing up fairly nice here. You see the new hotels appearing right on the beach. Now that really does shout some nice little tourism area or getaway. So I like that. I would like to find some stuff to stick onto this beach, and I'm still going to have to go out here with the terrain tool and try to fix this a bit. Now, one thing I did change, I got rid of this little area here. This was actually houses, which that's a little weird. you got to think about it. If you have your commercial right here and your houses immediately start, it looks a little funny. So I opened up this area by dezoning it, so I won't put anything right here to try to keep that all separated. Now we are getting some icons. These icons are nothing to do with them not getting goods like before. These icons are, there's not enough customers. So it's going to be about letting this level off. I understand I added more hotels, so that kind of stretches the customers a little thin, I believe. But we'll see. Uh, we've got boats still pouring in. We've got the airport, which we're probably going to have to upgrade that. We'll probably do that next episode because I've got to figure out a spot for that. So we'll get a bigger one in. But if you guys have any suggestions, comment below. Definitely love hearing from you guys. Uh, thank you guys for supporting this series. You guys are amazing about it. So, yeah, just kind of comment. See what you want to, uh, or comment below and tell me what you want to see next here in City Skylines. Uh, like I said, next episode, we'll probably do the new uh, airport. We'll probably continue this commercial district. And we've got some room here to maybe do a couple other things. We could maybe add some more hotels over here. But, yeah, overall, I'm really happy with the progress we're making on the city. Let me want to give you guys a big view I uh, got a little bit of a deaf problem, but downtown always seems to have some sort of issues. But uh, other than that, we're making money right now. We're still gaining population. We've gained probably close to 10,000 this episode. So that will continue to go up. I'm going to do a couple of sweeps through the city to see if there's anything I need to correct. And already see one right there. Water. Don't know how that happened. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we will see you guys next time on City Skylines. Thank you.